Here's your daily update. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi and thanks again everybody. I was coming back from breakfast this morning at the, you guessed it, McDonald's in the, you guessed it, Walmart. And I have to drive past the end of the runway here in Palm Springs and this beautiful turboprop was landing. And I started thinking about aviation and then immediately I skipped to the age of space travel and how exciting all of that was when I was a kid watching television and it all began with the naming of the first Mercury 7 astronauts. Of course there was a rush program. Kennedy had said he wanted to put a man on the moon by the end of the decade and the Russians had already put Yuri Gagarin in space. The seven original astronauts were John Glenn, Deke Slayton, Wally Schirra, Scott Carpenter, Gus Grissom, whom we paid a lot of attention to where I'm from because he was from southern Indiana, Gordon Cooper, and Alan Shepard. They were all test pilots and members of the military, and so they were physically suited for the job. Their average age at the time was 37. Alan Shepard was the first in space, but he didn't orbit. And then on February 20th, 1962, John Glenn went up and around and back. John Speed, John Glenn. And so John Glenn went up and circled the Earth and then came back successfully. It was a monumental experience, especially for those of us who were in grade school and high school because we got out of class and out of chores at home to watch all of this happening on television. And you know, if going into space and eventually to the moon had not been a race with the Russians, I'm not sure we would have had the gumption to do it. The government's having a tough time keeping the space program alive psychologically. Who watches the shuttle launches anymore, except for those people wanting to see it blow up? And there just isn't enough money for NASA anyway. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.